Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a continuation of the previous video. The questions asked, which of these functions are one-to-one -one functions? Now, first of all, because they're given functional notation, they're already a function, which means they've passed the vertical line test. What we have to decide is if they pass the horizontal line test. So, if I take the first function, y equals two-thirds, and I graph it, uh, y equals 2 divided by 3 and hit enter or rather hit graph I'm of course going to get a straight line because that's a constant function and that straight line is a horizontal line and it fails the horizontal line test like crazy because it let it it is on top of itself if you pass a horizontal line on top of a horizontal line it crosses way more than once. So, a constant function is not one-to-one. -one. Okay, how about the next one? m of x equals x squared minus 4. Well, we know what that looks like already, but just for fun, we'll graph it. Let me clear out what we have in there. x, squ x squared minus 4, and hit graph. And, of course, we get a parabola. Now, yes, that's a function because it passes the vertical line test, but we already knew it was a function. They used the notation m of x. It was a function. Is it a one-to-one -one function? No, because when we draw a horizontal line, it crosses the graph twice, which means we have repeated y values. Therefore, this is not a one-to-one -one function which means even though it has an inverse, its inverse is not a function. So we're not interested in it. Okay, the last example, we have five minus x squared raised to the one-half power. Now what I want you to remember, raising something to the one-half power is really the same as taking the square root of it, okay? So, y equals I'm going to clear out what I have. I'm going to hit second function x squared, which gives me the square root function. And I'm going to type in 5 minus x squared. And I'm going to close the parens, and I'm going to graph. And what we get is a semicircle. And nope, that is not a one-to-one -one function either because it fails the horizontal line test. So what it means when it says not, if it's not a one-to-one -one function, it does have an inverse. Every fun uh, you know, you can always find an inverse. You can always switch x and y. But the inverse is not going to be a function. So the truth is, if I want a function that ends up having an inverse which is a function, the original function needs to be one-to-one. -one. In other words, you apply the vertical line test first to make sure it's a function. You apply the horizontal line test next to make sure it's a one-to-one -one function. And then you are able to find its inverse, and you're guaranteed that that inverse is also a function. 